Hi, Deb here, and I'm going to share with you one of the uh, tips uh, about Photoshop CS5 that I think is a reason to upgrade if you haven't already. Um, it's uh, it's an, a neat feature called Content Aware, um, and it um, it it was pretty amazing when I uh, when I used it before. I'm going to show you on this picture that I've got here. It's a great picture of uh, a lot of wonderfully colored fall leaves and one green leaf, <laughs> and uh, um, what I want to do is I want to get rid of this green leaf without really messing up my background. I'd like to be able to use that background. Uh, I'm going to use a, another new tool that's a new feature that I just learned actually from one of my uh, students in class, Bill Staniford. Um, he um, uh, turned me on to this tool and now it's it's probably my favorite tool um, of choice. Um, for those of us who've used Photoshop for a long time, um, the, the uh, magic wand has definitely been a, a time saver for all of us. Um, but in this case, I'm going to use the uh, the quick select um, quick selection tool, which is part of the content um, or part of the uh, magic wand. And what I'm going to do is just select this green leaf here. And so you can kind of see that I'm getting a little bit outside the lines. I'm coloring a little bit outside the lines. But the quick select uh, tool just lets me click and hold and then select all of the areas that I'd like um, I'd like to select. You've noticed that I've got some areas that I don't want. If I wanted to get rid of those, in this particular case it won't matter too much, but if I was trying to be more precise in my selection, uh, what I'd want to do is hold down the Alt key and you'll notice that my plus, if you notice my tool there, uh, my plus turns into a minus and then I can just kind of drag across what I want to subtract from the selection that I already have. So I'm going to, um, just for um, practice sakes here, I'm going to select and, and then minus out the parts that I accidentally got. And so now I have, um, I've got my selection done. And all I really have to do is go up to my edit and go into fill and make sure that under the contents I'm using the content aware feature. And then when I say OK, presto. Um, you'll see that it took away the green leaf and uh, sure enough I have a, a really nice background that I can use for other things. So that's a great feature I think and uh, definitely one that you might want to think about for future. Now I've got one other select, one other example of that uh, particular thing here that I wanted to kind of bring up and show you another practical application of this content uh, fill. And if you'll notice, um, I have a picture here. It's just not a very good picture, but it's um, it's one that I might want to use maybe in an article about a driving range, obviously in golf or something like that. And so uh, what I might need to do, the only thing that really messes this up is this big power line in the background. That just doesn't, doesn't look very nice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, use my um, um, uh, lasso tool and I'm going to use the polygon uh, uh, polygon tool and I'm just going to kind of draw here gently whoops and easy let me back up here there we go gently around this power cord or power line that's in my picture um, and I'm just going to I'm using the uh, it lets me click over and I can just not too precisely. I don't have to be too close. That's the beauty of this content aware feature is it selects. I'm not exactly sure how it works. Then, then I close the loop there to use my um, um, on my lasso tool there and you'll notice that I have marching ants around the parts of the picture I want to get rid of. And then I'm going to go to edit and I'll do my fill and I'm going to use my content aware again. And say OK, and then let Photoshop do the uh, do the rest. And there you go. Presto changeo in a matter of seconds. I've cleaned up the back of this picture, and now I'm ready to do my creative cropping technique, which I like to use on all my pictures, um, to um, actually shadow in and grab just the parts of this picture that I might really want to use. And uh, there we go. Now I've got a picture that is without the power lines in the background that just shows the uh, driving range. Anyway, thanks a lot, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.